at 6 o'clock on Wednesday, May 10th, 2017. Welcome, and thank you for joining us tonight for the English edition of Or News, where we bring you today's top stories, translated into English every weeknight. A delegation of the U.S. Congress has arrived in Tirana and is holding meetings with the political leaders. The delegation, made up of seven congressmen, is led by the chairman of the Justice Commission, Bob Goodlatte. The delegation held the first meeting with the President of the Republic, Huyar Nishani. President Nishani and the American congressmen discussed shared views on different issues, such as the political situation in Albania, the upcoming parliamentary elections, the progress of judiciary reforms, the significance of the rule of law, concerns on cannabis and drug trafficking, organized crime, as well as the budget on military expenditure, and defense, given that NATO, given that Albania is a NATO member country and a close and faithful ally of the USA. The President's press office says that the congressman praised the institutional role and devotion of President Nishani to mediate dialogue between the political parties in the country. Later, the congressman held a meeting with President-elect Ilir Mehta and Foreign Minister Ditmir Bushati. Congressmen are currently holding a meeting with the DP chairman. The visit of the congressman comes at a time when the opposition has boycotted parliament and is not registered to participate in parliamentary elections. The opposition insists on the establishment of a provisional government, which they say will ensure free and fair elections in the country. The efforts of internationals to help the Albanian political parties solve the crisis has increased. A member of the German party, CDU, and a member of the group for the Western Balkans in the parliamentary group of this party, Mr. Andreas Lamel, arrived in Albania yesterday. He held a meeting with DP chairman and chairman of small parliamentary parties, Mr. Lamel arrived in Tehran after the failure of negotiations of two German members of European Parliament, Nat Kleckenstein and David McAllister. The visit of the CDU representative was made public by the Agrarian Party, which issued a statement to the media. Meanwhile, the Deputy Assistant Secretary for European and Eurasian Affairs, responsible for U.S. relations with the countries of Central Europe and South Central Europe, Hoyt Brian Yi, will visit Tehran on May 15th. Or News has learned that Mr. Yi will have a busy agenda of meetings, including a meeting with the Prime Minister, a meeting with President-elect Ilir Mehta, and a meeting with the Democratic Party Chairman. Also, Mr. Fleckenstein expressed his concern over the situation in Albania. In a Twitter posting, Mr. Fleckenstein wrote he held a meeting with the U.S. Senator John McCain, and they shared the view on the situation in Albania, asking the Democratic Party to participate in upcoming elections. Italian ambassador to our country, Alber Alberto Cotillo, has praised the implementation of the judicial reform as a crucial point for Albania's membership in the European Union. During a press conference for stable development, the Italian ambassador emphasized that Italy and the EU countries are monitoring the behavior of Albanian politicians because of the political situation, saying, Albania is a candidate country for EU membership, but the negotiations have not yet started. Membership negotiations may start by the end of the year if the elections are held in a regular way, and moreover, if the judicial reform will start to be implemented. We hope the implementation would start this summer, but this was not possible because of the depolitical climate. We are hoping that the reforms will be realized after the elections. The ambassador continued, adding that Italy is also monitoring the situation in Albania, stating, We are at a very important moment. Parliamentary elections are scheduled to be held on June 18th. Albania is being monitored, not only by Italy, but also by the European Union, because it is a candidate country to be part of the EU. For this reason, the attention is focused on what is happening, in order to see the politicians' maturity, so as to make the evaluations for the membership process. The Italian ambassador included that the results in the ju justice reform and in the fight against corruption are important for the country's development expressing readiness to offer his contribution to the country's stability. Albania is making important reforms, which first of all, are of national importance, and they are also asked by the European Union in order to make progress. The judicial reform, the fight against corruption and criminality are the most important. Albania has approved constitutional changes in July with the judicial reform in its core. I think that justice is very important for the credibility of a country. Today, the opposition has appealed the candidates list for the June 18th elections to the Electoral College. 
The request, which was signed by the Agrarian Party, asks the repeal of, decision de, uh, to, of the Central Election Commission, arguing that the last deadline for the parties to register their candidates for elections was April 28th. The opposition claims that the candidates are registered out of the legal deadline. The appeal of the candidates list was previously announced by the Democratic Party chairman, Lulzim Basha, at the protesters' tent, where he stated, the June 18th electoral process has legally failed. Every list submitted to the Central Election Commission is illegal, and the process is in illegal collapse. Soon, the Electoral College will face with the request to reject the illegal candidates list. Rejecting the lists, the Electoral College will give the older public a chance to end its mission through consensus and negotiations. The Electoral College should make a decision within 10 days, and the DP chairman declared that the future actions of the opposition will depend on this decision. Mr. Basha added, the day when a decision will be made with, will be the day when Albanians will know whether the inevitable end of the old republic will be a process of consensus, of an opportunity for inclusiveness, also for the sinners of the old republic, or it will be the beginning of the popular movement for the fall of the old republic through civil disobedience and other acts of resistance. On the 82nd day of the opposition's protest, the chairman issues harsh accusations against some internationals, without mentioning names. The DP chairman accused them of manipulating reports by not raising the drug issue as a concern. To the DP chairman, the prime minister does not listen to the voice of reason. Even though he expresses readiness for dialogue, the DP chairman stresses that the popular protests are the only instrument to guarantee elections considering the situation of the country. The DP chairman said that May 13th protest will be a peaceful protest, which according to him, will result to be fatal for what he considers to be the old republic. The Socialist Movement for Integration blames the Democratic Party over the creation, created situation for June 18th elections. The chairman of the Socialist Movement for Integration declared from Shkodra that he is doing all the work to include the opposition in the process but according to him, this was not praised by the Democratic Party. Mr. Vasili declared, we have, made everything we, can, we have made everything we can invest in politics available. We have made our mandates available, including mine, in search of a solution to the political crisis. Reflection, reflection should be made by all the parties. Mr. Vasili also highlighted that the political conflict is hampering everything and that a solution is needed as soon as possible, saying, the judicial reform is part of a political stalemate. Political crisis hampers not only ju the, ju the judicial reform, but also the economic development. The Minister of Justice was in Škoder, where he participated at the inauguration of the new Appellate Court, an investment made the, by the government in cooperation with the European Union. Minister of Interior, in, Minister of Interior Fatmir Jafai, declared from Škodra today that starting this year, Albania will no longer be on the map of drug cultivation. He added that fight against cannabis is a long process and that the fight against cannabis remains a top priority. The minister said that the police are doing everything in order to, for the fight against phenomenon to be efficient, saying, in 2017, Albania will no longer be on the list of countries that cultivate cannabis. Of course, that the fight against drugs and criminality is on an ongoing process and will continue for a long time. It is a confrontation between the law and the illegality, between police and violators of the law. The Minister of Interior commented on the recent dismissals in the state police, declaring that any movement has been made to give a new pace to the state police work, stating, there are different priorities at different times. Cannabis is a priority. To be honest, cannabis in Škoder is an important priority because certain areas have become like Lazarat with cannabis in recent years. Regarding the June 18th elections, the Minister of Interior said that the Constitution guarantees the elections. The June 18th elections are completely guaranteed as the elections are guaranteed by the Constitution and the law. The police are in the role of respect and security of the Constitution and the law. The police do their job in line with the law, said the Minister of Interior. While in Škoder, the ministry held a meeting with the directors of Škoder police, with whom he discussed cannabis and elections issues. With 78 votes in favor and 34 against, Kosovo's parliament approved a motion of no confidence, in this way approving the collapse of government. 
the, gov the Kosovo's government collapsed today after losing a no-confidence vote, setting the scene for an early election following months of political deadlock over a border demarcation deal with Montenegro. The motion was initiated by opposition parties, which blamed the government for being unable to carry out its program and pass important laws. The opposition has claimed that Kosovo would lose territory under the demarcation deal, an accusation denied by the government, local, and international experts. Kosovo's Prime Minister considered the no-confidence motion as a political pamphlet without any argumentative basis, adding its consequence will be the country's destabilization through creating a lack of trust in institutions and an institutional vacuum. The President of Kosovo decreed the dissolve of dissolvement of Parliament and he is now expected to set a date for the early elections, which according to the Constitution should be held within 30 to 45 days. That's all for our English edition this evening. Please join us again Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. for your local news in English. My name is Cosmo McKay. On behalf of Warren News, thank you and good night.